how to simultaneously run Final Cut Pro 7 and Final Cut Pro 10 on the same machine. Now, I've just downloaded and installed Final Cut Pro 10, and you can do so too by going to the App Store. And in addition to Final Cut Pro 10, you can also install Motion 5 and Compressor 4, the other applications in the Final Cut Studio 10 package. So when I installed it, I have the applications in the dock here, Final Cut Pro 10, Compressor 4, and Motion 5. And what it also did was remove Final Cut Pro 7 from the dock, as well as all of the other Final Cut Studio 3 applications. And if we go into our Applications folder, you can see that what's happened is it's put Final Cut Pro 10 at the root directory, along with Compressor 4 and Motion 5. And it's put Final Cut Pro 7 along with all of the Final Cut Studio 3 applications inside this Final Cut Studio folder. Now you can still use all of them, but what you can't do is round trip from one application to another. So for example, in the past, we've been able to edit a sequence in Final Cut Pro 7 and then bring it into color to do some color correction and then bring that back into Final Cut Pro 7. You could also do that with Motion to design effects and bring it back into Final Cut Pro 7 or Soundtrack Pro to do some audio design, but when it's in this folder you can't do that. So if you're like many editors who want to continue using Final Cut Pro 7 as the primary editing application and be able to round trip among all of the Final Cut Studio 3 applications, you just need to perform a few steps to be able to do that. I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it Final Cut Pro 10, and we'll just command double click on this to open a new finder window. And what we want to do is move Final Cut Pro 10 as well as Compressor 4 and Motion 5 into this folder. And you'll just need to enter your password. Okay, so now we've got all of them in this folder. And the next thing we have to do is actually move the applications from this Final Cut Studio folder to the root directory. Just drag them and bring them to the root directory of the Applications folder. And as you see here, it's copying them, so it'll take just a little bit of time. Okay, now all of the Final Cut Studio 3 applications have been moved to the root directory of the Applications folder. You can see here that Final Cut Pro 7 is now here along with all of its sister applications. I'm going to go ahead and just move Final Cut Studio to the trash because we don't need that anymore. And now we're set up to be able to use Final Cut Pro 7 as the primary editing application and be able to round trip among all of the Final Cut Studio 3 applications. Now if I want, I can come in and remove the Final Cut 10 applications from the dock and then add back in Final Cut Pro 7 and its sister applications to my dock. And so on and so forth. Okay, so what are my limitations? Well, as I just said, you can only use the Final Cut Studio 3 applications with Final Cut Pro 7, and you can only use the Final Cut Studio 10 applications with Final Cut Pro 10. Also, you can't run Final Cut Pro 7 and Final Cut Pro 10 at the same time. If I launch Final Cut Pro 7, and I have this open, and I try to launch Final Cut Pro 10. You can see that it gives me this error message saying that I already have a previous version of the application open. I can then quit Final Cut Pro 10 to work in Final Cut Pro 7 or vice versa.